Okay, so also cool is actually modifying the pins inside of the lock. Now, I first saw this done by um, a member of the of LockPicking101.com, um, whose name is escaping me right now, but uh, both he and Thule McGee, um, another incredible member, did some really neat work. Um, and they're, they're the first people that I saw doing this. I don't know if other people have been doing it, but I decided to recreate it here. Um, I went a little crazy on this lock, actually. I did all of the drivers and all of the key pins, and I'm going to do one key pin here on video for you as well. So, first of all, they make the pins look beautiful. They're really neat. Um, and second of all, and probably more importantly, they add some picking resistance to your locks. In fact, depending on the shapes that you create, they can add some bump resistance as well. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it makes it dramatically harder to pick. I'm going to be using this as a challenge lock for the workshop that I'm doing down in D.C. this weekend. I'm really excited about it. So, without further ado, here they are. I think they look awesome. Alright, so, check out some of these cool pins. This guy's one of my favorites. Whoops, just dropped him there. Sorry. This guy's one of my favorites that I've worked on so far. Um, and we have the top pins as well, of course. I'm making some serrated and spooled and barrel-shaped pins, too. I like the barrel shape a lot, actually. I've always wanted one of these pins. Um, and so all of these are made by hand. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it right here with our last remaining normal pin. Whoops, lost track of it over there. Aha, gotcha. Oh no. Um, and one of the heaviest pieces of equipment we've used so far. Alright, this is our power drill. Um, and actually all we do is just thread, and I'm going to flip this guy around so I can get at the base of it. Um, we actually just notch that pin in there, like so, and I have an assortment of files ready here, as you can see. And then we just run the file, let's run the drill, and let the file dig in. switch to, to this guy here. I can't deny that this isn't always great for your files because you accidentally cut into there a little bit. Uh, you get a lot of wear on them for this tiny little project, but it sure does make some cool pins. looking pretty neat already. Um, I think I'll just take this guy and cut into the edge a little bit here. That should look pretty neat there. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll try to zoom in on it a bit. See if it can't maintain the focus. Oh, of course it can't. Yeah, there you go. Look at that little guy. Alright, so now I'm just going to drop that back into our lock. Okay, so these guys just drop back in like any normal pin right down into our lock. And these will still function with the key, and I'll show you that the key makes it flush. Um, and because every single pin is a little bit wonky, I'm not entirely sure how well the key would wear if we just installed it, um, you know, to use on a daily basis. But the key will still work, so we can pull these apart to show the pins off later on. Um, because it's going to be a real, real hard lock to pick now. Uh, and I'm particularly excited to bring it down to Hack DC as a little surprise lock for them down there. <laughs> um, so yeah, here are the keys for it still. And 
Hopefully I got everything in the right shape. But yeah, look at that. Everything is still nice and flush across the top. Oh, I see that we lost focus there. Hope that doesn't look too awful. All right, so that's how you make your own pins. Awesome.